Let's learn a little bit more about section views, and we'll do this by creating a shape that you may be familiar with when it comes to section views. Let's go ahead and start a new sketch, and let's select this top plane. And we'll select circle, and we'll tell the circle to be 2.5 inches in diameter. Then we're gonna finish our sketch and extrude it up half an inch. Then we'll start another sketch on this top face. And let's draw another circle and let's tell it to be one and a half inches. And let's extrude that 0.75 inches. Then we'll start a sketch on the newest top face. And yet again, select circle. And let's tell this to have a diameter of 0.75 inches. Finish sketch. And let's extrude that down, negative 0.5 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Then I'm gonna go to my bottom view and start a new sketch. And I'm gonna create another circle and let's tell this circle to have a diameter of one inch. And we'll extrude cut this, let's say negative 0.75 inches and hit okay. And so now we have these two holes. If I hold control, I can select both. I have these two holes going through my shape. And if you dealt with section views before in this class, you may start to recognize the shape. Now let's go ahead and start a sketch on this sort of middle face here. And I'm gonna grab my circle tool again. And I'm gonna draw myself a circle over here to the side. And I'm gonna tell it to be 0.25 inches in diameter. I'm gonna find my horizontal constraint and I'm also gonna tell the center of the circle to always be horizontal with my origin. I'm gonna right click and hit okay. Now, if I drag this circle left and right, I can, because I haven't given it a location dimension in that direction, but I can't move it up and down anymore. I'm going to go to my dimension tool and I'm going to fix this. I'm going to select the center of my circle and my origin, and I'm going to tell it to be exactly one inch away. And then we'll hit finish sketch and I'll extrude cut this through all the way. And then I want to do this exact same circle three more times. So I'm going to go to create pattern, circular pattern. It should have body selected. I did this earlier, so it's automatically going to features. If anything is selected besides features, change it to features. And then what feature do I want to select? Well, this little circle that I created a second ago. And I'm going to go to axis and you can really pick any one of these circles as your center axis. I'm just going to select this edge and then make sure the quantity is four and hit OK. And so then I'm pretty much done with this shape. I'm going to go to save. And I'm going to call this half section example. And hit save. And now that I have it saved, I can create a drawing sheet for this so I can make an example of a half section view. So let's go to design and go down to drawing and select from design. And the drawing we want is my personal drawing. If it's not there, make sure you select it and hit okay. A drawing sheet should populate. If base is already selected, change it to top. If it's not selected, go ahead and just click up here and then you can do the same thing. And I'm gonna change my scale to not one half, I want it to be one, one to one. And let's go ahead and place it just a little bit off to the left and kinda high up and hit okay. And you can see it gave me some hidden lines I'm actually okay with these hidden lines. I want those there, but I also want to add a center mark pattern. So let's go ahead and create the center mark pattern between these four circles here and hit okay. And then you can see, okay, well now I got the center mark pattern going around, marking these four circles as a circular pattern. 
Then I want to go to my section view option. Let's go ahead and select that and I'm going to select my top face. And I'm going to hover over the center here or the center here. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then I want to drag to the left so that I see these green lines. When I see these green lines and I'm off to the side, I'm going to go ahead and click. And I'm going to let go of my click and drag it until it's at the center mark itself and click again. I'm going to let go again and drag down until I get down below my shape and I'm going to click again. I'm going to right click and hit continue. And you'll see that it automatically gave me this section view. I'm going to drag it down somewhere around here or click and click OK. Now, if you have hidden lines turned on, go ahead and double click and change it from hidden lines to visible edges. I only want the visible edges in this section view. And let's go ahead and close it. And then if this isn't a bad spot, you can drag it around off to the side or a little bit higher so it's not filling in this space here. But then I want to go back to my base and I want to select my right side view Again, I'm going to tell it to be a one-to-one -one scale. And for this side, I do want hidden edges turned on. So I want to make sure I'm not invisible, but visible and hidden edges. And I want to just make sure I get it right next to my section view right here. And hit OK. And if it's not exactly right, I can move it up and down and left and right. But I do want it to be as lined up as possible, just for perfectionist reasons. And then one more time, let's go to base view. And let's go ahead and select our home view. And let's again tell it to be a scale of one to one. And I wanna select shade it. And let's put it down right up here and hit okay. And so now we're pretty much done with this drawing sheet. But real quick, I wanna go back and look at this section AA. What is going on here? When we cut it out right here, why is it cutting in this way? What is this sort of cutting plane line doing? So if we go back into our half section example and we start a new sketch on this very top face and I grab my rectangle tool and I select my origin and drag down into the left and it doesn't really matter how big it is as long as it's bigger than the shape itself. So I want it below this edge and I want it to the left of this edge and let's hit finish sketch and I'm just going to hit extrude and select these faces and drag it down and hit OK. And so what do we do with that cutting plane line? Well, we cut out this rectangle right here. And so what does that do for us? Well, you can see that I cut through these two faces, but not these three. So if we look back here, that's why these three faces don't have section lines, but these two do. And so that's sort of what we did here. That's what this cutting plane line did for us. You can see it has the same origin as our rectangle that we cut here. And that's sort of how a half section works. But I actually don't want this cut out here. So I'm actually going to go down here to this extrusion. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to find a suppress feature and get rid of it and then hit save. Hit OK. And I'm going to go back to my drawing sheet. I'm going to update it. Although there's not much to update because I just suppressed that. But then I'm going to go ahead and save this as well. And I want to make sure I'm saving it in the correct folder and hit save. And we are done with this video.